today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Sorcerer Appraisal bug and how to get Maelstrom and Mirrotron in one playthrough, both the Sorcerer Ultimates. So in the starting town, Mel, there is one of those backpack dudes that sells items and he is carrying one of the books that we need. He only has one book in his shop, just find him walking around or standing still and buy the book. So we got one book now. Now we're going to come over to the waterfall cave and you should be about level 20 before attempting this. Just make your way all the way to the end of the cave and there's going to be a room with like two books and a chest. When you get the chest, you're going to fight a lynch, but the two books that we need are in that chest. So you can get your other two books from the waterfall cave. We only need three out of the five books. So now we have all the books that we need. So now we're going to make our way to Ven uh, and take the ox cart station because we need to come over to the checkpoint rest town for the next section and getting Maelstrom. Now this is semi bugged, but there's an easy fix for it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get um different map for that one there we go so you're going to make a forgery of all three books while you're doing the forgery you can simply daze off or doze off on the bench four times and that will be long enough for him to complete the forgery just do it three times and get a forgery copy of all three books so now that we have the forgery copy of all three books we need to come over here to Meridian's home. Now, Meridian will kick you out if you aren't wearing the, uh, where is it? The courtly tunic. So the first time you go in there, you gotta be wearing the courtly tunic. And I don't have the other one on right now, but the courtly uh, legs. You need both the courtly sets. You don't need the mask. But you do need both pieces of the courtly set. So now I'm going to be showing you exactly what you want to do for, to, well, to fix the bug. So it's kind of odd. I'm going to explain it and then I'm going to show it. So what you want to do is first you want to talk to him so you actually have the quest available. But you're not going to give him anything just yet. Then you're going to throw him off the cliff and you want to kill him. <laughs> and then you're going to revive him. And then you're going to give him all three forgeries. And after he starts to talk, don't stand still. You actually want to walk away. And he's going to kind of like try to force and find you. And then he will actually give you the spell. This has been confirmed by many people on Reddit that this fix actually worked for them. It actually does work, and trying it any other way, he just seems to get bugged. This is really easy. The only downside is sometimes it's hard to kill him. It might take you a couple attempts to kill him and revive him quickly and actually get it to work. But once you do that, and I'll show you exactly how to do that right now, you can get the Maelstrom.
next we can get meteor tron so in the same section that we got the three books top of the map you're just going to go to the left side and come all the way up to the top here we're looking for eni's home and take note that we have a campsite right there we're going to be using that as well now initially if the grandparents are in the same room as her she won't talk and do the quest talk She'll just say, like, some bullshit. So you need to get the grandparents out the house. They can't be in the same room in her, as her. Or she won't talk about wanting to learn magic. So take them out one by one. Dash and dash for, like, ten seconds. So you really get them. Because they're going to want to walk back. So you got to get them both out the house. You know, then you run and throw the other one out. Then you can talk to her about the quest. So initially she'll want the books. So you already got the books. Just give her the books. She's going to give you a trinket or whatever. And then you're going to rest for a day. Use the campsite if you uh, got the materials. Otherwise you got to go to the town and rest. And once one day passes. Then you can just go and talk to her again. And then you got to do that one more time. And you go and you rest again. And then you talk to her. Eventually, either two or three times after talking to her, she's going to come like all crazy casting spells and shit. And what you want to do is you basically just kill her. And then you got to use a wake stone on her just like you did the other one. Really odd quest that, that these both of these dudes, well, one dude, one chick, are giving the spells after using wake stones on them but that is how you get maelstrom and meteorchon in one playthrough so just want to note especially when doing uh the dude because his is a lot more buggy than hers hers really isn't buggy but you might want to do it for her as well definitely rest in an inn so you have that in save that you can go back to if it doesn't work so you're not like completely screwed because you do need to do exactly what i showed because that quest is super buggy and you might as well get them both in one playthrough versus having to come back and get it in your second playthrough and do it all over so make sure you're saved just in case and that's how you get Maelstrom and Meteortron in one playthrough. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.